future of National City's Granger Music Hall could literally be up in the air. For years, people have been breaking in, trashing it, and sleeping inside. CBSA's Regina Yerita talked to city leaders tonight about the building's future, which includes the possibility of lifting it off the ground and relocating it. Behind me is Granger Music Hall, and 20 years ago, it used to be this beautiful site where people would come to listen to live music. Right now, it's an eyesore, and I want to show you what it's like even outside of the building, the amount of trash that you'll see if you're walking by this area. Piles of trash, graffiti, a makeshift homeless encampment, and spider webs. These are just some of the issues that you will see if you pass by Granger Music Hall in National City. But this building painted a different picture decades ago. You know, it was this really historical spot that had a lot of rich stories um, that, you know, from hauntings to, you know, certain things and events happening that were significant. The property is close to the public, but it's next to a homeless encampment where people have broken into the property by welding the metal gate. They've also broken into some of our electrical boxes. According to the city, the music hall was moved to Fort Street when the Granger family, the owners of the building, had plans to move it to Mexico. To help keep it in the area, the city helped move it to Ford Street, but it's been decaying ever since, and the city has yet to address it. Outside uh, shingling all needs to be replaced. It needed to be replaced when we got when we took it over. The roof completely needs to be replaced. After witnessing people illegally breaking into the building, I asked Mayor Alejandra Sotelo Solis and Council Member Ron Morrison why it's taken so long to revamp the music hall. Mayor Solis tells me it's because of a lack of resources. Again, with inflation and everything else, it's probably going to cost anywhere between four and five million dollars just to move the facility. Councilman Morrison blames the delay on city staff who's still determining where to relocate it again. The two possible locations are the Port and Pepper Park or on El Toyon Park. We're really kind of getting kind of tired of dealing with the port on this issue and it would be a difficult move. With no action from the city just yet, music enthusiasts fear the site will never open to the public again. But Mayor Solis says state and federal funding will soon make the relocation happen in the near future. Regina Yurita, CBSA.